And we're underway. And the kick is a deep one. Into the end zone. And we'll be down there for a touchback. And the 49ers will have the ball first. Joe Montana, who rises to the occasion in postseason with a 13 and 4 playoff record. And the rest of the offensive front for the Niners. Up front, Paris, McIntyre, Sapolo, Barton, and Wallace. Brent Jones is the tight end. Roger Craig and Tom Rathman are the running backs, and Jerry Rice and John Taylor, the wide receiver. And the Redskins do not come out with a nickel defense on first down. Montana to throw on first down, and it's dropped by John Taylor. He was there. The Redskins defensively. Up front, Charles Mann, Tim Johnson, Darrell Grant, and Marcus Cook. The linebacking core, Andre Collins, the rookie who's played well. Kurt Govea and Wilbur Marshall. And in the secondary, Martin Mayhew and Darrell Green are the cornerbacks. Todd Bowles and Alvin Walton, the safeties. Second down and ten. Raven Caldwell has replaced Darrell Grant up front. And a three-man defensive line for Washington. Rathman on a quick hitter, and Marcus Cook hits him at the line of scrimmage for no game. Joe Montana, so much the key to this ball game. The San Francisco 49ers did not play well at the end of the season. Their feeling is that they can pick it up in this game get back to playoff momentum. If they're going to do that, they have got to have a great game for Montana. George Seifert, 28-4 regular season record, has never lost on a road, so the only defeat suffered by the Niners the last two years have been here at Candlestick Park. Mike Sherrard, who was just activated, goes in motion on third down and 10. Montana finds Jerry Rice. And Rice Nearly gets a first down. Very close to the first down in marker. Andre Collins and Monty Coleman. A real war going on between Charles Mann and Steve Wallace. Some bad words spoken earlier in the year between these two. And you can see right there a real battle as Montana slips out and they almost picked up that first down. In the meeting earlier in the year, the second game of the season, Man was shut out by Wallace. And now Barry Helton, who has struggled, has the worst average in the National Football League, will be kicking. Joe Howard back deep for the Redskins. And a good kick this time by Helton. Fair catch by Howard at the 25. So the Redskins go on offense, and the cheers are for Barry Helton. Here's Mark Rippon. 13 and 3 in his last 16 starts with one of those losses to the 49ers. The offensive front, Lachey, McKenzie, Bostic, Slareth, Jacoby, Don Warren, the tight end. Ernest Biner is the lone running back when they use the posse of Art Monk, Gary Clark, and Ricky Sanders. Gerald Riggs opens up at running back along with Biner. Biner carries and gets a yard. They started with two tight ends, Ron Middleton and Warren. Charles Haley makes the tackle. 49ers defensively, Pierce Holt, Michael Carter, and Kevin Fagan, their three-man front. Haley, Matt Millen, Keith DeLong, and Bill Romanowski are the linebackers. Darrell Pollard and Don Griffin are the cornerbacks. Ronnie Lott back in action. And Dave Wehmer is the strong safety. Ricky Sanders comes in, three wide receivers for Washington, second and ten. Rippon going deep, and Mark Monk was the intended receiver, and Pollard was with him step for step. Try to stretch him out early. Rippon likes to fire the ball deep. His numbers not as impressive, certainly, as Montana's. The thing he does best, perhaps, is to throw the ball deep. He's a big quarterback. He's a scrapper. He'll battle you. He does have a little of a problem with those short touch passes. Griffin was sacked only six times in ten games. Third down and ten. Griffin on a design rollout, and his pass intended for Sanders 
And it is ruled a catch. And that'll be a first down, a gain of 14 yards for Sanders, who dropped two passes wide open against the Eagles last week. Bill Romanowski on the tackle. Sanders, who's had some problems throughout this season, is a man that they wanted to get the ball too quickly. He comes down the middle of your screen right there, turns inside, and they feel that he's so important to them that they wanted to maintain his confidence level. They're going to review that catch. It was a low play, and Red Cashin, our referee today, and they'll look at it upstairs. Bill Fetty is the replay official. From that angle, it looked like a good catch. Ricky Sanders is a great athlete, and talking to Charlie Taylor, Charlie said he has had a very positive week of work this Auto week. Review by the replay official. The play stands. First down. Joe Gibbs with a very impressive playoff record of 12 wins and three defeats. Only Don Shula and Chuck Knoll have more playoff victories than that man. First and 10 for the Redskins on their 41. And the running play to Biner. Picks up nearly five. Romanowski again on the stop. There's the man who's going to be the key offensive force for the Redskins as he has been down the stretch. The Redskins' personality is to show you all the formations, to show you the motion, but they want to pound you with that man in that big offensive line. They want to come right down your throat with the run game. Second down and six. A lot of shifting, a lot of formations. Try to get the right matchup. Griffin has a lot of time. And his pass is caught by Gary Clark and knocked out of bounds into 49er territory. It's a first down. 11-yard gain and Don Griffin on the stop. Gary Clark, who led the Redskins in receiving this season. Clark was questionable coming into this game. A knee injury, an ankle injury, both. But he is their big play receiver. They've leaned heavily on him all year. He comes up with a big first down on this drive. He did not work out for most of the week. Three tight ends in there for the Redskins. First and 10 on the Niners, 44. Biner on the counter. Gets some room, and Biner gets inside the 35. And finally ridden out of bounds by Ronnie Lott, but not before a big game by Ernest Biner. 16 yards. And a first down in the Redskins threat. Good block by Art Buck. Watch him as they run away from Haley and go at Romanowski on this play. Raleigh McKenzie, an excellent block on Romanowski. Biner just breaks up inside. Let's go back and look at that block by Art Monk. These Redskins receivers will jump all over you. Both teams blessed with wide receivers who block effectively. And a first down on the 28-yard line of San Francisco. Again, Biner. And he's thrown for a loss. And that was Haley who knifed through. And Biner is stopped for a loss of three yards. We asked that question of Mark Rippon yesterday. When you run away from Haley, are you going to cut him off? He said, we have to. If you don't put someone on him and block him, he's going to make it from the backside. And that is exactly what happened. Counter Trey, and he just ran it down from the backside. Niners coming into this game with a semblance of doubt after struggling down the finish. They had nothing really to play for, and the Redskins finished strong. Second down and 13. Deep drop by Rippon. He's going deep, wide open. Is Art Monk touchdown, Redskins? 31 yards, and the man he beat was Darrell Pollard. They were successful with the corner pattern in the first ball game this year, and they felt that they could beat the corners here today. Pollard working right here on Monk. Let's see what he does. Does he give him a little move inside? No, fakes the out move, and then breaks hard upfield. And Pollard bit on the first move. The complexity, the double move, ate him up. Chip Miller has not missed a conversion in 41 attempts this year. And he puts the Redskins up 7-0. So Art Monk 
who caught the go-ahead touchdown last week against the Eagles, puts the Redskins in front with 9-12 to go in the first. Griffin. Eight plays and 74 yards. Quiet in this capacity crowd here at Candlestick Park. The lights are on here as we start. Overcast early, but the sun is trying to shine through now. The Redskins really felt that it was an advantage to them not to have a week off. They come into this game hot. Low Miller kicking off. The deep man is Carter. Dexter Carter on the seven-yard line. And he brings it out to the 22-yard line. It was interesting, Merlin, when we talked to both teams yesterday, the 49ers a little bit tentative because the way they finished and having a week off, but the Redskins came in brimming with confidence despite their loss earlier in the year. It really is strange, and, and you get vibes off of these players. You, you wouldn't believe that two-time Super Bowl champions could be nervous about this game, but I think the week off did hurt them, and there's no question in my mind that the way they played at the end of the season has created a lot of questions for the San Francisco 49ers team. And maybe more questions arise now with the Niners trailing. They start from their 26. Jerry Rice in motion. Quick pass. And it's caught by Brent Jones, the tight end. He's got a first down. Greg Minuski covering on the play in 13 yards to Brent Jones, who led the National Football League tight ends in yardage game. This Redskin defense, Richie Pettibon, their leader says they're going to throw the book at Montana today. Three-man line, four-man line, five-man line. They'll mix the coverages. They'll come with the blitz. But the key to their success today is successful man-to-man -man coverage on those big 49er receivers. And A.J. Johnson has come in as a fifth defensive back. First and ten. Montana's pass. It's caught by Jerry Rice and Darrell Green with a takedown. Penalty marker down. It'll be a first down for the 49ers, and let's see if a personal foul has been tacked on. I think they're going to call Green for sticking Rice's head into the ground. Now, Green gives up six inches of height to Jerry Rice, who's one of the strongest receivers in the league. But he picked him up and put him down. This is going to be a battle we'll watch all day. Green against Rice. Joe Gibbs wants to know why. There they are at the top of the screen. Number 28, Daryl Green working one-on-one on, one on Rice, trying to force him outside. He comes inside. Watch the end of this play. And this is what he's penalized for. Right there. Takes the man's head into the ground. 15-yard penalty, and the 49ers will have the ball in Redskin territory. With 8 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the first quarter, Redskins lead 7-0. First down for Joe Montana and company on the 36. Short drop under pressure from Charles Mann. And the pass caught by John Taylor. And a first down at the 15-yard line. Bowles defending on Taylor, who had his best game of the year when they met earlier in the season. In the slot, number 82, John Taylor gets out on Mayhew. Mayhew is the man that covers him there but loses him as the second move gets him upfield, responding to the scrambling quarterback. These San Francisco receivers, excellent at reading Montana. First down on the Washington 14. Here's Roger Craig with his first carry of the game. Craig was out two games with a knee injury. Earlier it injured it in the fourth game and rare in the goal. Gains four yards before Darrell Grant brings him to a halt. Offensive coordinator Mike Holmgren told us yesterday, we're not going to spend a lot of time trying to prove we can run the football. We're going to throw the football. But the running game is going to be important today if Roger Craig can get a cranky. There's Mike Holmgren. Second down and six. Ball is on the red skin 11. Montana can't find a receiver, and he's down by Tim Johnson. That might have been a coverage sack as much as anything else in Tim Johnson, who had two of the five sacks against Randall Cunningham last week there. 
You need to get the pressure inside. Here's Johnson right in the middle of your screen, number 78. You want to put people right up in Montana's face. Get around him. Push him. Make him uncomfortable. He was in that situation. He simply had to pull that ball down after looking left and right. Redskins have been very tough. Third best in the NFL inside the 20. Jumpy Gethers and Fred Stokes, a couple of good pass rushers in the lineup. Montana out to Harry Sidney. Sidney knocked out of bounds short of the goal line by Brad Edwards. He'll spot the ball at the one. But it'll be first and goal. They got the job done. Montana with such a great sense of where that dump off receiver is. Although he really took a shot after he threw the ball. Watch it from the end zone. Montana looks downfield first. His receivers are not open. Watch how quickly he goes to that outlet receiver. And of course, Sidney is an excellent third down receiver when he gets that football. First and goal in the one. Rathman and Sidney are the running back. Harry Sidney. And he's not going to get there. Try to go wide on the Redskins. And it was Wilbur Marshall along with Todd Bowles. Marshall had the first hit. Actually, Sidney was able to get away from Marshall and almost leak into the end zone. Watch number 58, Wilbur Marshall, getting penetration here, makes the initial contact. But Sidney, who's a strong runner, pulls away and heads toward the goal line. He got some help in time. Second and goal. and he's in for the score. <laughs> kind of a forgotten man as the season wore on, Tom Rothman. Well, you don't forget about him when you need some muscle. This is his turf, goal line territory. Rathman in behind Guy McIntyre with an excellent block. Jesse Sapolo on the nose. Good job. Led the 49er rushers with seven touchdowns this year. And now Mike Cooper with Barry Helton holding, looking to tie the game. And with just under five minutes remaining in the first quarter the 49ers smartly come downfield and have tied this one at 7-7 seven, seven. who guarantees overnight air delivery before 10:30 to the most people coast to coast who did you think even when the weather doesn't behave Chevy Astro does. It offers the security of all-wheel drive and standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes. The technology that's built into the Chevy Astro is designed to help you stay in control. What you put into Chevy Astro is up to you to control. More families are winning with... The heartbeat of America. Now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. dog in the world were the same, all we'd make is dog chow, with the 43 essential nutrients normal adult dogs need. But dogs are different. That's why we make dog chow, puppy chow, fit and trim, and Purina High Pro. That tested, veterinarian recommended. Merlin Olson back here at Candlestick Park. Tom Rathman's touchdown has tied this game 7-7 seven and seven in a similar scoring drive to that of the Redskins. Eight plays, 74 yards. The Redskins went 76 yards for their drive and used a little over four minutes. Michael Kofer will be kicking off for the 49ers. Here's Todd Bowles, one of the three players back for the Redskins, along with Joe Howard and Brian Mitchell. A little more over. 
overcast now as Cooper kicks the ball. It's a short kick. And it'll be Joe Howard at the 12-yard line. Howard brings it out just shy of the 30-yard line. Candlestick Park in San Francisco. The 49ers who have home field advantage throughout the playoff. The Redskins scored first, and the Niners have tied it up 7-7. Art Monk from Mark Rippon, 31 yards, put the Redskins in front, and then Tom Rathman went over from a yard out to tie it up, and we have an injured Redskin down on the 30-yard line. Looked like it might be Middleton, one of the tight ends. And if it is, they're going to lose a very important blocker on that offensive line. We'll be back. Being helped off the field was injured on that last play, and he'd be a very tough loss for the Redskins. Maybe we can get a chance to see what happened to him here. Here he is, right here, and watch for number 24, Harry Sidney, coming from the left hand side of your screen as he blocks on Pollard. There comes Sidney, catches him on the leg right there. So, without the extra tight end, three wide receivers, the posse, lined up. And actually, they have four out there right now. Watch the run play. First and 10 on the 30. Biner stopped by Fagan. Earlier in the year, second game of the season, they did the same thing. The four wide receivers get everybody spread way outside and then take Biner and look for the hole inside. They don't find the hole here as the 49ers aren't biting. Get a good play from Fagan on the outside. No gain on the last play. Second and ten for Rippon. On the 30-yard line. They have a stunt going. Haley can't get to him. And Rippon's pass Whoa. is caught. Face mask. And a first down. Ricky Sanders makes the catch. And gambling for the interception was Ronnie Lott. And a gain of 18 yards. So Lott gambled on the play. And Sanders with his second big reception of this first quarter chance to watch is Rippon who's had some problems with his ankle said it was tender all week running outside look at Sanders how open he is that ball thrown late and lock well I thought he had the face mask he may have had the shoulder pad underneath first down on the 48 yard line of the Redskins Biner dives into 49er territory and picks up nearly seven yards on the play. Kevin Fagan and Charles Haley on the stop. So the Redskins, who don't have Middleton now, going to Jimmy Johnson is that second tight end. Johnson almost the same size and an excellent blocker, but Joe Gibbs loves to use those tight ends in unique combinations. And this will take some of those combinations away from him. Second down and four. play fake. Rippon has time and his pass Ooh. is nearly picked off. Ronnie Lott is running it back and they rule it as an incompleted pass. I'm going to say that Ronnie Lott trapped that ball and we have a 49er on the ground injured on that play. Gary Clark was the intended receiver and Don Griffin was covering and Griffin is the player hurt for the 49ers. Let's watch this play develop. Clark coming down, working man-to-man -man on Griffin on this play. And it's as they go up together right here, see what happens as they come down. It looked like he came down on the elbow, perhaps. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Time for Rippon to throw that football. But that was not a great pass. Needed to put that one down inside. Here's Ron Middleton, who is heading for the locker room. The Redskin tight end. Badly limping. He had been the starter in most of the games since midseason. Meanwhile, on the field, Don Griffin is shaken up, and the 49ers can ill afford a loss in the secondary. Chet Brooks is out, and of course, Ronnie Lott has been hurt. We'll take a timeout from Candlestick Park and be back in a moment. 160. Back at Candlestick Park with the Redskins and the 49ers tied 7-7. Seven and seven. Injuries have marred this first quarter. Don Griffin on the sideline. 
Six defensive backs, including rookie Eric Davis, in the lineup on third down and four at the Niners' 46. Griffin's throw, and it's caught by Art Monk, and he'll have a first down. Ridden out of bounds by Kevin Lewis, and a gain of 13 yards. So the posse, at least two-thirds of them, getting underway in impressive fashion here in the first quarter. Art Monk coming all the way across in motion. Number 81, you see him moving across the screen, and they're trying to bring Kevin Lewis, number 45, man-to-man. -man. But Lewis got picked off by one of the other defenders giving Monk room to the outside. I'll tell you, it's so tough when you're man-to-man -man trying to work your way through traffic and cover a man like Monk. First down on the 33. Not much for Ernest Biner, but there's a penalty marker down with two minutes and 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. Michael Carter made the tackle on Biner. Looks like it's going to be against the 49ers. Don Griffin has a bruised right shoulder, and it is probable that the 49ers starting cornerback will be back. Number 78 on the defense, five yards, still first down. Five-yard penalty marked off against Pierce Holt, so it'll be first down and five, and the ball is marked at the 28 of San Francisco. At the end of this season, Pierce Holt and Kevin Fagan, the best pair of tight ends in the NFL. Four wide receivers on first and five, and they run off of the four wide attempt. And Biner getting close to the first down is short by a yard. Michael Carter on the tackle. The Redskins down the stretch were impressive indeed, beating the likes of the Dolphins and the Bears and the Buffalo Bills. And then, of course, the victory over the Eagles last week. Stumbled against the Colts, but they're on a high right now. They come into this game feeling very good about themselves. They earned it without any question. Second down and one. Biner won't get it. He'll lose some. Kevin Fagan twice has penetrated the line for the 49ers. Michael Carter at the bottom of that stack. Joe Gibbs told us yesterday the difficult thing about this defensive line. They are so hard to keep blocked. You can get a block on them, but they get away from that block and get right back into the flow. Carter at the back of that stack, and Kevin Fagan just coming so hard as he does on every play to make the stop. Dennis Brown and Larry Roberts come in in the defensive line for the Niners on third and four. Rippon's pass Whoa. intended for Monk. A bit high. He was double covered that time. And that will bring up fourth down. One of the great matches today. You get quality players. Charles Haley, 94. Jim Lachey, both Pro Bowl bound. Whoa, necktie tackle. Red Cash is looking at that one. And Haley has to say, Red, what were you looking at? We'll be looking at that matchup all day. Now a 44-yard field goal attempt by Chip Lowmiller. He's hit 11 in a row, and this kick is long enough, and the kick is good. So Chip Lowmiller now has kicked 13, 12 consecutive field goals, and the Redskins regain the lead by a score of 10 to 7. Since Jeff Rutledge became his holder, his only misses, he's 20 for 23, his only misses from 50, 52 and 54 yards. So Low Miller really on a roll at the end of this season. Chip Low Miller was booting them from as long as 52 yards prior to the game. The winner of this game between the Redskins and the 49ers will advance to the NFC Conference Final, and they'll play the winner of the Bears-Giants clash tomorrow at Giants Stadium. It all begins at 12 o'clock noon Eastern time with the NFL today. Lawrence Taylor and company against the Bears. Mike Tomzak and Jeff Hostetler, backup quarterback. What do you I think don't think game? they'll be in shirt sleeves for that one, Nick. And the, the big advantage to the Giants to be playing at home. But playing without their top quarterbacks, I give the edge to Chicago. Chicago doesn't depend nearly as much on their quarterback. They're more likely to depend on Neil Anderson than they are on throwing the football. 10-7 the Redskins. Low Miller will kick off. 
Dexter Carter and Spencer Tillman back deep for the 49ers. Low line drive, end over end, sails again into the end zone, where it'll be down by Tillman. So Low Miller has kicked off twice. And both kicks have gone into the end zone for a touchdown. This is something the Redskins have done so well on special teams. Wayne Severe has these guys coming down. They put all their little speedsters in, and they have done a great job of covering kicks all year long. Joe Montana, who only played one half of the 49ers' last regular season game against the Vikings, did not put any points on the board. And, of course, missed the New Orleans game with a groin injury the week before. Has completed five of six. First down at the 20. Jump pass. Harry Sidney and an ankle tackle by Alvin Walton. No gain on the play. They may give him a yard. Second down, and that may be the last play of the first quarter. Joe Montana looking comfortable. What are the things you want to do to Montana? You love to push him to his left, but one of the good passes he threw earlier in this game was rolling left. That's not good news for Washington. And that is the end of the first quarter with the score, the Redskins 10 and the 49ers 7. And so I have... Between the Redskins and the 49ers... We start the second quarter with Washington leading 10 to 7. Second down and 9 at the 21 for San Francisco. Montana. Pass is caught by Tillman. Out of the backfield. Or Craig, that is. And Roger Craig has a first down, a gain of 14 yards. One of the dangers will be Craig as a receiver today. Roger Craig, the pounding he's taken in the last seven years has taken some of his running ability away from him. But he is still a most dangerous receiver on these kind of passing situations. And watch him pull out of this tackle by Alvin Walton right here. Just strong enough with those legs to pull right away and get the extra yardage. Craig goes out, replaced by Harry Sidney. First down for San Francisco on their 35. gets the call. Harry Sidney with a good game. He'll have another first down. Monty Coleman brings him down in a gain of 12 yards for a guy normally used as a pass receiver on third down situation. Well, I think everyone expecting perhaps to see the pass here. They were crossed up as they came right back. They moved the tight end way out on that play. Brent Jones all the way to the sideline forcing Alvin Walton as a safety to go all the way out and cover him. Of course, what they're trying to do is take that great run support from the middle of the Redskin defense, move them outside. First and 10, Roger Craig back in the lineup. Craig up the middle. Picks up about three. We'll bring up a third down for... Second down for the 49ers. Are you surprised that they are running as much as they are in this first half? I think they're always going to mix what they do. But their emphasis is going to be on the pass game. It's just a matter of when it's going to come. They'll pop it. The one thing you have to do when you look down and you realize that there's a real chess match going on here. Richie Pettibo knows that he can't really match up all the way across against those great receivers. But he'll mix and match all day long to contain it. Second down and six. Montana under some pressure. Pass Ooh. deflected, intended for Rathman. And Andre Collins downfield. And for the second time today, the Redskins got to Montana and put some pressure on him. Marcus Cook, number 74, coming from the top of your screen, working on Bubba Paris. A good spin inside. And that's one thing you have to do. You get there, you bother Montana. You push him, you shove him, you let him know that you were there, even if you were late. Third down and seven. Four wide receivers, including Mike Sherrard and Mike Wilson. For San Francisco and an extra defensive back for the Redskins. Montana chased by Charles Mann, but the pass is caught by John Taylor. 
on a crossing pattern and a gain of 17 yards and another Redskin is shaken up. Martin Mayhew made the tackle and he's still on the ground. Let's go down and look at that pattern. John Taylor just down and across with plenty of time for Montana on this play. Taylor just gets it and works all the way across the middle here. Mayhew covered him until he got the break, and there's no one in the middle to help him as he comes in underneath the deep help of the safeties. Safeties try to jump him, but he just got into a little bit of an area there where there was plenty of room, and Montana, such an accurate passer, put it right in his hands. First down on the 34 of the Redskins. Rathman and Sidney split back. Harry Sidney on a halfback option pass. Going for the tight end, Brent Jones. And the pass is caught. It's ruled a reception and a first down inside the 10. Alvin Walton on the stop. So a gimmick by Holmgren. A pass that shouldn't have been thrown and a catch that you will not believe. Walton has plenty of time. You can fair catch this ball, but watch it. Drops right into the secure hands of Brent Jones right there. That is a remarkable catch. Harry Sidney is a former college quarterback out of Kansas. And they're going to review this one. It is first and goal. And the question is, did he have both feet in bounds? A chance to watch his feet come down. Look at that right foot. It would appear from that angle that his right foot may have been on the line. This angle may give you a better peek at it. Yes, the foot is on the line. Now, question number two, was he pushed? Well, I think Walton was going for the ball. I don't, well, it's not a question of whether he was interfered with, but would he have come down if you didn't push him? I don't think it's a catch. My personal feeling is they're going to call that one back. This is the second time they've reviewed a play here, and here is another look. Brent Jones with Alvin Walton covering on Harry Sidney's halfback option pass. That one, that one looked like it was thrown out of a silo, straight up and straight down. Play is ruled as a force out. It's first down. Now, he was forced out. Joe Gibbs doesn't like that call. It'll be a first and goal for the 49ers on the six-yard line. The rule is very specific. If he had not been bumped, the referee is saying he would have come down fully inbounds, both feet. Ooh. Harry Sidney gets thrown for a loss of about five or four yards. Greg Minuski, who's a firebrand, one of the more vocal defenders on the Redskins defense in a loss of four yards. Number 91 right here in the middle of your screen. Watch him as he just drives up inside. No one even touches him. A blown assignment by the San Francisco 49er offensive line and Minuski does a great job. Nice loss on the play. Second and goal on the 10 and the Redskins are going to use this opportunity to call their first time out of the first half. So the Redskins lead the 49ers 10 to 7, but San Francisco is threatening and will return to Candlestick Park in a moment. Go the 49ers trail, but they threaten with 11-17 to go in the second quarter. Assistant head coach, but the defensive guru, Richie Pettibone, and this is where he earns his money. You bet it is. Toughest yards in football, and the ball right nosed up on the 10, so they got all 10 for the second down. looking to throw and the pass was intended for Rathman and it was Alvin Walton who got to him good pressure that time on Joe Montana and that will bring up third and goal well and how is our friend Jerry Rice doing in that batch up with Daryl Green Green is all over him in this situation that looks like basketball coverage doesn't it tight man to man 
I'm a defense Bobby Knight likes to play at Indiana. There's a man who's a little tight. George Seifert, <laughs> to say the least, yes. They were mad about those helicopters, weren't they? Third down and goal from the 10. Montana fires. Jerry Rice, touchdown. Traffic. He caught that at the very back of the end zone. Jerry Rice again. The tight coverage. The problem here. It looks like there's a turnover there. They've got a double on him inside. Daryl Green turning him over to Todd Bowles, but Bowles simply didn't stay with him. Watch Montana. Hey, I don't think there are many quarterbacks that even try that throw. Started a run and then threw it. Michael Cooper adds the conversion. And for the first time today, the 49ers are in front. Early here in the second quarter. But Jerry Rice's touchdown reception gives the Niners a 14 to 10 lead. Down passes in the regular year. Caught this 10 yard pass from Joe Montana and the 49ers with 11.08 remaining in the second quarter lead the Redskins 14 to 10. Michael Cooper. Getting set to kick off, Joe Howard, Brian Mitchell. Our back, Tom Bowles, is in the middle. And it will be Mitchell returning for the Redskins. And he gets upended hard at the 22. And making the play was Harry Sidney. A very physical game. John Keck, the umpire. Watch what happens when Mike Sherrard comes in running a patter. Damn! <laughs> hey, this is a rough game. And Montana's look right into his eyes. He's got a quick glimpse of Rice, looks back to the other side, and then waits for the opening. All kinds of time. That's the key. But look how close Daryl Green was. Fractions of inches. First down, Redskins from their 22. <laughs> Ernest Viner. Has an opening. And Viner with a big gain gets it out close to the 40 yard line. Ronnie Lott applies the hit, but a 15 yard gain by Viner. The counter tray play so effective for the 49er or for the Redskins over the years, and that's exactly the play they run here. Watch from the right hand side pulling both the tackle and the guard. But what they do here is pop the play right up the gut. You've got the option of going inside or outside, and that's what Viner adds to this play. Dimension. First and 10 on the 37 of the Redskins. And a play action. Griffin's pass. Incomplete. Gary Clark, the intended receiver, and Griffin, who was shaken up earlier with a bruised right shoulder, made the play. Man leaves the ball game, comes back in. You got to test him out, and that's exactly what Rippon did there. One of Rippon's great strengths, his arm strength. He rifled that football, but Rippon with a quick reaction there to knock it down. Second down and ten. Now they open up to four wide receivers, though one of them is Don Warren, a tight end. And here's the handoff to Biner going outside and Biner is stopped short of a first down by two yards. Darrell Pollard and Keith DeLong in on the stop. Bill McPherson the defensive coordinator for these 49ers very explicit he said the Redskins do the best job in football of spreading you out with passing formations and running the football. That's exactly what they did there. Four wides. It's the same thing they did in game two out here earlier in the year. Redskins lost that one 26 to 13. They have a third down and two. Griffin's pass incomplete. Clark was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up fourth down.
49ers defense holds. And Kelly Goodburn will punt for the first time today. And John Taylor goes back deep for San Francisco. Good high kick. Taylor going to return it. A.J. Johnson missed him, but Taylor can't go anywhere and is written out of bounds at the 11-yard line by Monty Coleman. A 40-yard kick by Goodburn. Niners ball when we come back. Chrysler Fifth Avenue, Imperial, and New Yorker Salon are all engineered with ABS brakes, so you're safer when you drive. With our hands-free visor phone, you're safer making a call. Our remote entry system means you're safer at night. And our driver's airbag means you're safer in... Here at Candlestick Park, in a divisional playoff battle, and San Francisco leading Washington 14-10. to 10. Dick Stockton along with Merlin Olsen, and the Fuji Blimp here today as well, giving you these pictures from the top. Captain Scott Gannaker and Gary Fabian, veteran pilots. Overcast afternoon. Niners with a first down on their 10. Craig went in motion. Montana trying to buy time and going deep for Roger Craig. And Craig makes the fine catch for 33 yards to match his jersey number. Alvin Walton. You saw an earlier play with John Taylor very similar to this where he broke away as Montana scrambles. This is such a well-disciplined team, and that's Montana at his best. What a great touch on that pass down the sideline. Excellent catch, beat down inbounds. Roger Craig doing a great job of catching the ball here today. Two catches for 46 yards, and the Niners have done a good job on making catches right close to the out-of-bounds area. The play is being reviewed. It's been ruled on the field as a catch. <laughs> I don't think that Red likes the idea that they're reviewing that. Two feet down very clearly. I don't think that's going to take long to figure that that's a catch. Again, Montana able to hit the receiver even though he was well covered. Following a review by the replay official, the play stands. First down. Easily both feet in. And he had possession. So a first down for the 49ers. Dexter Carter and Harry Sidney now make up the 49ers backfield on the 35-yard line. And it's Sidney who earlier threw a pass that was caught by Brent Jones. Picks up three yards. Eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Jim Hannafin with the offensive line of the Redskins. Sincerest form of flattery as the 49ers go to the counter trade play themselves. They did a lot of this during the playoffs last year. They ran it that last time with both the right guard and right tackle pulling in front of the play. Good numbers for Montana thus far. 10 out of 13. Now faces second down and seven. On the Niners, 46. Carter goes in motion, and Montana going for the tight end. Brent Jones, who makes the catch. Andre Collins let the ball go through him, and Alvin Walton made the save, 48 yards, but a blown play by the rookie from Penn State. Collins has great position. He's there to cover this play, but he makes the turn at the wrong second here. Watch his head. He turns around just a fraction late, could not find the ball. Brent Jones knew exactly where it was. Walton there to save the TD, but they're down at the seven-yard line. And the 49ers are threatening to open this game up here early. First and goal at the seven. Craig and Rathman, and it's Tom Rathman with the carry. And Kurt Govea nails him at the nine-yard line. That's the counter tray again, a play that the Redskins run against and run every day of their practicing lives. They did a fine job of stopping it. Montana cranking it up in the playoffs as he has done so many times and recharging this 49er offense in the process. This is the kind of football they played in the playoffs last year.
the kind of football they played in the playoffs the year before. There was an honest question. Could they do it again? Hey, they're doing it right now. Second and goal on the eight. Montana's pass is caught, and this will be an easy one for Mike Sherrard. He broke his right leg earlier in the year, has broken it several times, reactivated last night, catches the touchdown pass. And the Niners lead it 20 to 10. Nine weeks ago, they operated on Sherrard's ankle, put a three and a half inch plate in, six metal screws. But what does he do? He breaks away from Kurt Gabea, number 54, is all alone. And you just don't miss if you're Joe Montana. And Michael Cooper makes it 21 to 10. So Mike Sherrard who was out of football for two and a half years, comes back and makes an imprint. People say I was lucky. I say luck had nothing to do with it. That airbag saved my life. I opened my eyes. Remaining in the first half, Mike Sherrard, a plan B pickup, who was drafted number one by the Cowboys with an eight-yard pass from Joe Montana, who has now hit Rice and Sherrard here in the second quarter. And the 49ers lead the Redskins 21 to 10. Cooper again kicking off for San Francisco. Brian Mitchell on the return. Brings it out to the 23 yard line. Let's go back and look at that touchdown. Kurt Govea is momentarily distracted. And what happens is he's supposed to take Sherrard as he comes inside. Now watch Gavea. What he should do is nail Sherrard uh, right there and not let him go free. Unfortunately, he didn't get turned around in time, and Sherrard, all by himself, shoots across underneath. Montana found him. Montana was three for three on the drive. First down, Redskins on their 22. Ron Middleton is back in the game for Washington. And carrying is Ernest Biner. Brings it out to the 25. Biner has gained 51 yards on 11 rushes. He has carried the ball exclusively for the Redskins thus far. Second down and six. Ripping with time and op open is Clark. And Gary Clark, wide open, has a first down beyond the 40 and a pickup of 15. Pollard and Matt Millen on the play. And as quickly as he is moving, it's hard to believe that he is having ankle and knee trouble. Missed, as you said earlier in the broadcast, a great deal of the practice early in this week. One of the things that always amazes me when I watch Gary Clark is how quick he can stop and start. A change of direction. Posse today has caught six passes for 103 yards and the touchdown by Monk. That put the Redskins in front early. First down on the 41. Play action and Rippin has a wide open receiver and Ricky Sanders has it in 49er territory. Don Griffin applies the hit and a pickup that time of 15 yards. Working on Don Griffin down the sideline. Man-to-man -man coverage from the 49ers here. Griffin going to run off with him. Watch Sanders just get a little push right there at the end. And he's lucky he got him that far away because, boy, Griffin came back with a vengeance. They wanted to get Sanders involved, and they have. First down on the 44 of the Niners. the delay. Biner gets about two. They're trying to run away from Charles Haley during a good part of this game. In fact, they're running a lot of plays that they call locator plays. They'll get up on the field and they, 
They'll get to the line of scrimmage and they'll say, okay, we're going to go left. Haley's on the right. We are going left. It's got to be a bit frustrating for Charles Haley. Well, as long as they're winning, who cares? <laughs> Ball at second down and 10. Griffin passes batted down. Pierce. Might have been Haley, and yeah. it was. Pierce Holt coming in to the inside, Fagan coming in, but Charles Haley makes his presence felt. He'll work on both sides, but he's coming in over the top of Joe Jacoby here. And Jacoby gets a good push on him, holds him up at the line, but look at that. Great timing. Right up in the air to take that pass down. That was an easy slam dunk. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Third and ten with 340 remaining in the first half. Rolling out is Rippon. Fires and it's incomplete. Gary Clark on another crossing pattern. But the pass wasn't there and it'll be fourth down. More excellent defense from the San Francisco 49ers as they shut down another Washington drive. Kelly Goodburn will kick, and back is John Taylor. Fair catch, signaled by Taylor at the 20-yard line. A 24-yard kick, so the 49ers, with all of their skilled people and marquee players, the defense, got them where they are right now. In the last two years, Joe Montana has been nothing short of brilliant. In the postseason, he's 6-0, 19 touchdowns, and look at this number. A single interception. That is an amazing playoff record. And he's got two more touchdown passes today. And no interception. First down, Roger Craig with McIntyre blocking. And Alvin Walton. Knocks him away. And a gain of only a, a couple. Alvin Walton leads this team in tackles with 138 on the season. Another fine one there. 49ers, the last three times they've had the ball, they've reached pay dirt. All good drives. Well, we had the opportunity to watch Montana in his first half against Minnesota. That's not the kind of statistics that he threw up on the board as they were blanked in that game. <laughs> Talking to the 49ers all week, they said, hey, we're going to put up the steam, put it up to speed, get the playoff mode. They've done it. Second down and nine. Good. Good. Harry Sidney out of the backfield. It's a fancy catch. Doesn't get much out of it. Maybe a yard before Alvin Walden stops him. It'll be third down and long for the 49ers as the clock runs. Two minutes and 40 seconds remain in the first half. San Francisco 49ers very content to take whatever you give them. They're a move-the-chains offense. They'll throw those short passes all day long. And I think Montana, more than any quarterback in the league, is patient. He'll just take what's there. His ego is not involved. One thing he wanted to do coming in after playing sparingly was to get a rhythm, and he's done that. Third down and eight. Montana trapped, and down he goes, and Charles Mann has the first sack of the game for either team, and a loss of six yards. You saw Mann saying, yes, yes. I talked to him just before this uh, game in the locker room, and he said, I have all the incentive I need. Steve Wallace talked about shutting him out the last time, but watch him here, right around Wallace number 74, and even though Wallace held him, he's all over Montana. Well, our two-minute warning is here at Candlestick Park. Man with the first sack of the game, and we'll return in a moment. Tremaine in the first half, and the 49ers in front 21 to 10, but the Redskins will get their hands on the ball again. Barry Helton. On fourth down and 14, his first punt went 46 yards, and Harris Barton walking into the 49ers dressing room. We have not seen Daryl Green back on punts today, and that was deliberate. The Redskins 
felt that the punch would be short from Helton all day long. Did not want to risk Daryl Green on the short punch. So Joe Howard is back now. Helton will kick from inside his five. Ooh. And another good kick. Helton has punted twice well, and Howard on the return from the 39. Was tripped up first by DeLong, and he made the play. Well, tomorrow it'll be the Bears and the Giants, starting at noon Eastern on CBS with the NFL Today. And we are very happy that our colleague Pat Summerall will be back in the broadcast booth working with his partner John Madden and we wish Pat the best and glad that he came back as quick as he did we missed him we surely did first and ten at the 44 of the Redskins trailing 21 to 10 Rippin dumps it off to Ernest Biner Excellent inside-out pursuit from Matt Millen. A lot of the thing that impresses me most about this 49er defense up front, they are always hustling, coming so very hard. Ernest Biner walks off the field. Bubba Tire, the trainer there, to take a hold of him, looks as though he may have a stinger in that right arm. He had problems with his ankles earlier, and Gerald Riggs is in for him on second down and ten, and Rippins pass. And it's caught. They rule it a catch, I believe, by Ricky Sanders. And now they come in and say incomplete. Apparently, he bobbled that football on the way to the ground. An incomplete pass. Here's a look. Pass is ruled as incomplete. Good officials working down. together. Rippon zips this football right past Romanowski, number 53, who jumps for it right there. Now, let's see what happens to Sanders. He has it, but since he's in the air, he must control the football all the way to the ground, and he does not. That's a good call by the officials. Johnny Jackson put the hit on Sanders and made him lose it. Redskins with two timeouts remaining. A minute and one second remaining. Third down and ten. Stephen Hobbs in the game as a wide receiver. Rippin dumps it off to Riggs. Riggs looking for the sidelines, and he gets it, but he's going to be shy of a first down by about three yards. Bill Romanowski ran him out of bounds. I thought for a minute that they may be going for it here, but the Redskins have put their punting team on the field. Riggs, I don't think, realized what the down and distance situation was. He was only a couple of yards short on the first down when he took himself out of bounds. So it is fourth down and two in Goodburn. Will kick and back is John Taylor. Taylor with a fair catch at the 15-yard line. So with 48 seconds to go, the 49ers have another chance. Redskins scored first. Monk from Rippon early in the first quarter but then the 49ers came back smartly and tied it up on Tom Rathman's touchdown Redskins regained the lead on a Chip Low Miller field goal and then Joe Montana went to work 10 yard touchdown pass to Jerry Rice and then he found Mike Sherrard from eight yards out and that's the story as the 49ers lead 21 to 10 48 seconds to go in the half Fifteen first down. Montana has played. Alvin Walton runs him out of bounds and a gain of eight yards. A lot of teams in the NFL, 43 seconds on the clock on their own 20-yard line. They'll simply sit on it, run out the clock. The 49ers are not that kind of team. They believe that they can score even with 20 seconds on the clock. Second down and two. Montana gets hit. His pass was intended for Brent Jones and Jumpy Gethers put the crunch on Montana. Jumpy jumped all over Joe on that play. Earlier we saw Harris Barton go to the 49er dressing room and Ricky Sigler has replaced him in right guard. 
Coming up at halftime, the NFL Today crew down on the field here at Candlestick Park, Greg and Terry, and we'll have locker room reports from Pat O'Brien and Leslie Visser. Third down and two. Brathman. He's got the first now. Tim Johnson on the stop and a timeout called by the 49ers. They still have two remaining. You never... How much insulation do you have in your attic? Three inches? Six inches? Well, the Department of Energy recommends R38 for most American homes. Minutes of first halves this year to get his teams on the board. He's amazing. I, I've said it before. I've never seen a team that has so much confidence in their quarterback, but he's earned that confidence over the years. First down from the 29. Ooh, and he gets he hit. again. And Joe is hurt. Joe is hurt on that one. The Redskins are getting to Joe Montana and getting to him and knocking him down. You saw the numbers. Here's Gathers again. Jumpy Gathers on the stunt here. Will break away from his man. That's Sigler who replaced Barton. And watch the ribs here. Bang. And Steve Young is going to come into the ball game, if for nothing else, but just to finish out the first half and a hand for Montana who comes out. Once they've stopped play for you, you've got to come out for a single play anyway. And I would think with 30 seconds on the clock that Joe may be through for the half. Second down and 10. Roger Craig. Craig will lose a couple of yards on that play, but he showed his ability to cut. And making the play was Collins and Mayhew for the Redskins and a loss of a pair. There was an apparent upsurge in the running game of the San Francisco 49ers late in the year, but most of that was running by Steve Young. Joe Montana threw for 200 yards in the first half. He had 390 the first time these teams met earlier in the year. And that is the end of the first half with the score. The 49ers 21 and the Redskins 10. And Dan Rather will bring you up to date on the events of the day after this. Great kick. Mitchell downs it in the end zone, and the Redskins will start from their 20. So Mark Rippon, who has been sacked only six times in the regular season, none so far today, and a team that has made its mark coming from behind this year. They know how to do it. And I mentioned I, anybody that watches football has the respect for great coaching. And both of these teams are as well coached as any that you would ever see in this game of football. Gerald Riggs opens it running back for the Redskins from their worst starting field position of the game, the 20. Riggs carries, brings it out to the 23, Kevin Fagan making the tackle. Fagan working all the way across. Fagan selected as an all-pro by the national and honored i mentioned earlier that i really feel that pierce holt and kevin fagan have come on late in this season to become the best pair of defensive ends in the nfl edging out reggie white white simmons back in philadelphia very good speedy defensive ends both holt and fagan second down and six pass to most Griffin will drive him out of bounds. Short of the first down marker, it'll bring up third down and a couple. Griffin shaken up earlier in the game, and there you're looking at Art Monk, one of two players in NFL history to catch 100 or more passes in a season. Jerry Rice got to the 100 mark on the last game of the year. Joe Jacoby is out of there, and Ray Brown has replaced him on third down and one. Griffin has time on third and one, and the pass is incomplete. Gary Clark, the intended receiver, and Griffin was all over him. 
Interesting that the Redskins throwing on third and one. Certainly is for a running team. Again, you've got to counter your tendencies, and you do it right there with the throw. Kelly Goodburn, who was signed in December when Ralph Mosienko was released, will be kicking to John Taylor. Short kick. And it'll be down by the Redskins. John Taylor is such a dangerous receiver back there. We talked to him. He's had a tough year. Injured with a knee earlier in the season. Tried to come back and wear a brace. Could not do that. Finally just said to heck with it. Took the brace off. But boy, he is such a dangerous receiver. We've seen him catch a touchdown pass today. Outstanding football player. You don't want to kick to him. No touchdown pass today. Rice and Sherrard were the two. But That's Taylor's right. always a threat. First and ten on the 36. Play fake. Montana was trying to go to his tight end, Brent Jones. 49ers have made a living off of the opposition in the first half of their last three playoff seasons, including today outscoring their opponents by a whopping 134 to 28 margin. That's not fair. And you know what else? The 49ers, who had always been quick starters, had not done that toward the end of the season. They were slow starters. In fact, all during the 90s. Second and 10. And Roger Frey runs into Joe Montana, one of the rare mix-ups in the backfield. Joe Jacoby, who came out of the game for the Redskins, has an injured shoulder. There he is. Jim Hannafin there describing some patterns for the offensive lineman. Third down and nine on the 37. Gathers and Stokes. Gathers has put some pressure on. He's in there now. Montana. Ooh. Nearly got hit by Stokes, got the ball away to Harry Sidney, but there's a penalty marker down. Let's see. Did they call him in the grass? No, just missed the throw, but a quick one at that, and Stokes buried Montana. Watch Freddie Stokes, right-hand side of your screen, working on Bubba Paris. Montana with no receiver open there, and there's Stokes. Watch it. Quick flip. You test a quarterback's courage. And when he'll stand in till the last second, you know that he's not going to blink. Montana doesn't blink. Barry Houghton having a good day thus far. Howard, number 80, and Mitchell, number 30, are back. We have yet to see Darrell Green back there as a punt returner. Another good kick by Houghton. Here's Howard returning from the 20. And he's hit immediately. Wesley Walls made a good stop on Howard. So the Redskins will begin from the 28-yard line with the Niners in front, 21 to 10. Presenting the Honda Prelude SI with anti-lock brakes. Never get behind a camera without one. Subway bakes my bread up fresh and that's my way. My way. I get a combo seafood club the best way. My Home a sub with lean Oscar Mayer ham or roast beef and be a hero. Why is Coors Light the official beer of the 90s? Let's count the reasons. One, the Silver Bullet is the beer that won't slow you down. Two, it's brewed with pure Rocky Mountain spring water. Three, it's got a neat silver can. 
Four and five, Coors Light is available in all 49 states and Canada. And six, it tastes good. Let's keep all six reasons in mind the next Third, time. Gerald Riggs in for Biner, who is injured. First down on the 29-yard line of the Redskins. Ripping the throw on first down and the pass one hopper to Art Monk. So Ripping has lost some of that sharpness that he showed in last week's game against the Eagles. Looking to the sideline for his plays with all of the motion and all the formations, all of the shifting. You see Don Bro signaling in. They really have to do a great job of getting them onto the field in a hurry so that the Redskins have enough time at the line for all the mechanics of what they do offensively. Three receivers left and a quick count. Second down and 10 and Rippon's pass caught by Gary Clark at the 45 yard line and ridden out of bounds by Eric Davis. A 14 yard pickup to Gary Clark, the Redskins leading receiver. Here are the three receivers stacked at the top. And what is very difficult about that is anytime you get them moving together, it's very difficult to tight cover them. You try and zone, although it looked like in this situation they went man to man. But the quick count really hurt them. They were waiting for the shift. They just came out and blew it off the line in a hurry. First down on the 45 of Washington. Gerald Riggs powers his way into 49er territory and picks up six yards on the play. Riggs was out six games with a foot injury and now spelling Biner here to long and hold on the top on the stop. Talking to Keith Bostic center earlier in the week and he said with Riggs in there we have the big back Jeff Bostic. Bostic the uh, kind of hammer in there that they used to have with John Riggins. He's more like Riggins. Biner more of a finesse back with the cutting ability. Second down and four. Here's Riggs. Dives close to the first down yardage. Keep in mind that Ray Brown has been in for the right tackle Joe Jacoby. Since that first drive, the Redskins have stumbled. Well, for Joe Gibbs and the Redskins, the job is very simple. They've got to do it their way, but they've got to get something going. You can't wait much longer. Third down and one. First down as Rake goes up the middle. Kevin Fagan on the tackle there, and I noticed that Ron Middleton who was out earlier with a sprained left ankle and came back before the half has been limping. We notice when he shifts, he is hobbling. He's making some other people limp in there, too, though. He has put some hellacious blocks on some folks inside. First down on the Niners, 43. Ossie is in there. Sanders joins Monk and Clark. Fagan trying to get to Rippin, and the pass is complete to Art Monk. And Monk gets close to the 20-yard line. Don Griffin battles him. So the Redskins running and opening it up in a 21-yard game. That is such a tough pass to throw. Bootlegging back to your left. That means a right-handed quarterback has to throw against his body. Now watch him here. Fakes it to Riggs, going inside, and steps back with Fagan right in his face. Throws a strike right there to Gary Clark. No, to Art Monk. Covered on. They have really gone after Griffin all day today. Monk has caught four passes for 70 yards. Don't forget, Griffin is playing on tender ankles. First down on the 21. And on a reverse, here's Art Monk with Griffin blocking. And Art Monk crashes inside the 15-yard line to about the 11. Let's see where they spot it. Darrell Pollard ultimately makes the tackle and a gain of nine yards. Art Monk, this is the way they get outside very often. Just a little handoff on the comeback there. Schlereth, the guard out in front to get a block, and right there was Rippon's block. He's 234 pounds, bigger than a lot of the running backs, and not afraid to throw his body in there. He's sturdy. Second down and one on the 12. Riggs going outside. And Gerald Riggs takes it down to the 
six-yard line. Pollard and Lott on the stop. Redskins have outrushed the 49ers. No scoop there. That's their game. Trailing 21 to 10 and threatening with 8.46 remaining in the third quarter. They have just been able to take charge on the line of scrimmage in this drive and get that running game going. They like to run it inside, but they have had several of their biggest plays outside in this ball game, or in this uh, drive. First and goal at the seventh. <laughs> Gerald Wade going to lose a couple. Jim Burt leading the cheers from the sideline, but it was Larry Roberts who snuffed Gerald Riggs on that play. 49ers love to rotate their big people, keep them fresh in there. Roberts, who's normally utilized in a pass rushing situation, was very big on that play, but Riggs is not a great outside runner. He's best up inside between the tackles, and he showed you why on that last play. Second and goal, the ball now at the nine. Four wide receivers for the Redskins. Hard to hear. On the draw play, Gerald Reeves gets back down to the seven-yard line, and it was Fagan with help from Romanowski, and that will bring up third and goal. Such a quick front line for the 49ers. I don't think they were fooled at all by that play. I'm sure that they had been warned early in the week. When they spread you out like that, particularly down by the goal line, watch for the draw, and they were there very quickly on that play. Ernest Biner did not start the second half, and now he's back in the game. Bruised shoulder at all. It'll be third and goal at the seven. Griffin's toss is intercepted by Johnny Jackson of the 49ers, and they take over. Big interception by Jackson. Snuffs out a Redskin threat. And the Niners still lead by 11. A big one for the 49ers. Redskins were driving and Mark Rippon now. 12 of 23, a touchdown pass and an interception by Johnny Jackson who did not pick one off in the regular season. And so it's first down, Niners on their 20. Montana gets it out. To Jamie Williams, the tight end, who can't hold on. Let's go back and look at that interception. It would appear right here we're going to get the receiver down, and if this ball is thrown as he cuts, I think they got a touchdown. But Jackson, reading the quarterback size, gets the great jump and gets back there in time to make the play. Got Jackson coming from the wrong spot there, but there he is. You see him get the great jump on the quarterback size and get there in time. Montana has thrown an incomplete pass in his last five attempts now. It'll be second down and ten. Montana wide open is Williams. And he's got a first down. All kinds of targets. Jamie Williams in a gain of 13 with Martin Mayhew on the stop. <laughs> Talk about tough. Those numbers are unbelievable. Good teams do not beat themselves. And that's exactly the way these 49ers play in the postseason. And here they are doing it again today. Starting from their 33 following the first down. Roger Craig. Hit by Alvin Walton. Pick up a five yards. This is a time for patience if you're a 49er. You want to control the football, just work it down, eat up a good share of that clock. But if you're on that Redskin defensive line right now, the thought very simply is we've got to force the turnover. They'll be batting at the football. They'll be looking for the interception, trying to force that football so they get a chance at it offensively. 
Second down and five with five minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Montana looking to throw and he flips it out to Mike Sherrard and he is hit immediately by A.J. Johnson. And a loss that time of three yards. We talked about the battle going on between Rice and Green and it's still battling out there. Green will follow him all over. Here he is right there on number 80, Jerry Rice, and watch him as Rice drives inside. He's right there step for step. But obviously, Rice just a good decoy on that play. Rice with a touchdown catch today. It'll be third down and eight. Harris Barton has returned to the 49er offensive line. Ball at the 35 of San Francisco. Montana's pass. And they rule it a catch. Jerry Rice on a very tough catch with Darrell Green all over it. So Rice showing he can make the tough ones as well. Confident quarterbacks are not afraid to throw to well-covered receivers, especially when the receivers are as strong and as sure-handed as Jerry Rice. You can't cover a receiver any better than that. It's a first down. A lot of people lose sight of the fact that this is one of the biggest receivers in football, and they're coming back. Ooh, are they reviewing the play? See, the 49ers don't miss a trick. They had a sense that that was going to be reviewed. They were quick to the line to try and keep it from being reviewed. The play is being reviewed on the field. It's ruled as a catch. I don't think we'll argue from that angle. Here is the best view of it. Green is defending him as well as you could expect. And I'm not sure. I think he trapped the ball. I don't think he had control. Question is, is it a conclusive reason to reverse it? It looked like the ball had scraped the grass after he made the initial catch. I think one of the other things, well, let's let Red Cash the time. The replay official, the play stands as a completed catch. First down. It will go, though, as a catch and a first down. Joe Gibbs shaking his head. 21 to 10 the score. That's what the score was at halftime. 49ers on their 44 yard line. Montana's pass. Caught. Brent Jones the tight end. That time Darrell Green was defending him and a gain of 16 yards. And the Redskins just can't get to Montana consistently enough. Time is the critical factor for Montana. If he can stand back, read the defense, Get himself into that position, step forward, deliver the football. You probably are going to get yourself eaten up on defense. You've got to have someone in his face. You've got to have hands up in front of him. And they're just not doing that here in the second half. Brent Jones already has caught four catches for over 100 yards. First down on the 40-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping gathers. Ouch. Roger Craig hit hard. Now they're looking at the Polaroids from upstairs. 49ers. John Marshall, the defensive line coach. Left side of your screen, number 97. Watch this hit on Roger Craig. Picture perfect form tackle there. Jumpy Gethers has done the best job of any Redskin defensive lineman to get to Montana actually sent him to the sidelines in the waning seconds of the first half second down and eight on the 38 yard line Montana has an open Mike Sherrard and a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage A.J. Johnson on the stop And we'll have a holding penalty against the 49ers who have not led the Redskins back in this game here in the second half thanks to their defense. That's been the story of this one. Very few mistakes in this game. Both teams playing quality football. Holding number 77 of the offense. Ten yards to a second down. Bubba Paris. Bubba shaking his head and saying, not me. I didn't do it. Fred Stokes, number 60. Bubba soloed on him. Look at him. Just 
goes outside the shoulder pads. <laughs> That's World Federation Wrestling right there, isn't it? Does the word sumo mean anything sumo. to you? <laughs> he put him down. And the worst thing is he ended up on top of him. Now that, that's adding insult to injury. He's a big one. Second down and 18. The ball back to the 48-yard line. Still in Redskin territory. And Montana quickly decides to call the timeout. But the 49ers very much are in control of this game as we're down to the waning moments of the third quarter. Parked in San Francisco on an overcast afternoon. The 49ers in their first step to what they hope will be their third straight Super Bowl championship, leading the Washington Redskins in this NFC Divisional Playoff 21 to 10. Dick Stockton along with Merlin Olson, Mark Rippin and Joe Gibbs talking for the next time the Redskins get the ball. Charles Mann jumping off and quickly pointing inside to Steve Wallace saying he was moving. False start. Number 74 on the And he was. Five and yards, was. still second down. Such a critical situation for this Redskin defense. Well, tomorrow at 4 o'clock Eastern, college basketball action on CBS Sports as defending Big East champion Connecticut, ranked number nine, tries to extend its 22-game home winning streak when they take on Malik Seeley in the 10th ranked St. John's Redmond. St. John's is 10 and 2. Connecticut 12 and 1. Lost to North Carolina. Two strong clubs tomorrow on CBS Sports. Second down and 23. Back to the 47 of the Niners. And here's Mike Sherrard wide open. A lot of work for Sherrard coming back after the surgery for the broken leg. Darrell Green on the stop and a gain of 11. 49ers have already eaten up more than five minutes on this drive and they're patient they'll take the half of that they get down that's now 10 yards to go they're not trying to get that whole first down but this is a very important uh, drive I do not believe that the 49ers if they can get this ball down pick up the first down take it down and put another seven on the board I don't think Washington has enough firepower to catch them third down and 12 Joe Montana goes down softly, if you can use that term for a sack. Whole bunch of Redskins around him, and that will bring up fourth down. We have seen a few coverage sacks on the day, and that certainly was one. If we watch this play. Let's turn it loose and see what kind of coverage we're getting downfield. Excellent man-to-man -man in the short zones right there, and no receiver open. Look at that right there. Look at the tightness of that coverage. Two safeties waiting down here in the wings for anything. But that's just great coverage by the Redskins. They force the punt, get the football back right here. Fourth down and 16 out of the shotgun. And now Barry Helton moves back to punt formation. Joe Howard came up to the line and then had to do a quick retreat. And Helton gets off another good kick and a fair catch called by Howard at the 10. So Barry Helton should get a hand. He has punted tremendously today after slump in the second half of this season one of the most beautiful cities in the country and a very big offensive series coming up for that man Mark Rippon in the Redskins first down on the 10 yard line double tight end and play action back at the goal line is Rippon he's got time and downfield is Art Monk he's got it in a big game to midfield Don Griffin was beaten on the play at a 40 yard pass play to Art Monk having an outstanding game for the Redskins they have looked all day for Don Griffin in this kind of situation Pollard starting across and following but it will be Griffin who picks him up and comes downfield and for Mark Rippon, who had so much confidence coming out of that game last week, this has to be an exciting play. Don Griffin falling down at the end of that, but still managing to trip Art Monk. Trying to get off the play before the gun, and they do not. And that is the end of the third quarter of a scoreless third period with the score. The 49ers 21 and the Redskins 10. And our coverage will continue after this message from your local station. You're watching the NFC Playoffs on CBS. This is CBS.
serving in the U.S. armed forces around the world. Only a small number will be at today's game. But they all helped make it possible. Thanks from all of us. To sell a house that takes more than a handshake, it takes experience. Remax Sales Associates average twice the experience of other full-time real estate agents. To sell a home, it takes expertise. Remax Associates are North America's top producers, outselling the average three to one. To sell your home, do what it takes. Step up to Remax. Congratulations on your new home. We're moving, selling homes now. Step up, 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 up. Join host Gordon Peterson on Inside Washington, Saturday at 7. And the start of the fourth quarter here in San Francisco with... The Redskins at midfield, but the Niners leading in this divisional playoff 21 to 10. Play action. And Rippon's pass is caught by Art Monk. He has been a giant out there for the Redskins today. A 14-yard pickup with Darrell Pollard on the stop. How important is this drive? Terribly important. I think they've got to get points on the board, and I think they've got to get a touchdown on the board. You look up, you realize you're running out of time. The 49ers haven't gotten any colder in this second half. They just haven't had the football as much. And the Skins have got to be careful that they don't get too greedy here. They need the points, but they've got to be careful that they don't make a mistake. Big game for Art Monk. Six catches, 124 yards, and a first down on the 36. Gerald Wake goes nowhere. And one of the better rushing defenses in the NFL stops him cold. Keith DeLong and Jim Burt. In fact, Fagan, Burt, and Kugler right now are the three men up front for the 49ers. Jim Burt had his shoulder scope just a few weeks ago. Happy to be back in and get a chance to play on that down. He's been splitting some time out there with Michael Carter. Second down and 12. They'll come after him here. Griffin. Soft touch, trying to lead Monk, who's claiming he was held. Dave Weimer was defending downfield, but got no response from the officials. Again, the Redskins try to go with a quick count. Instead of going with all their shifting and all of their motion, right here, looking downfield. Let's see if he was held. Weimer certainly did. Had a hold of his jersey on the back, and that's what was... That's what Monk was talking about right there as he points back, but no flag. Third and 12. This is a big play for the Redskins. Rippin's pass is caught, and that'll be good enough. Let's see, it may not be. Gary Clark gave some ground, and depending on the spot, the Redskins may not have the first down. I and now they true. say they have it. Yeah, I think he got it. But boy, what a what a great play by Rippon! Again, play action, holding just long enough for him to get it downfield. I hard to believe that you're going to buy play action at this point in the ball game. Rippon with a rifle shot here. Look how strong that arm is. And Gary Clark making a great catch. First down pass is caught by Art Monk. Having one of his better games of the season and a pickup nearly of nine yards. Millen and DeLong on the stop. Art Monk's biggest day this year came against the Lions when he caught 13 passes for 168 yards in that shootout that went into overtime. Excellent job on this drive by that offensive line, giving Rippon time to throw the football.
Second and two. Gerald Riggs. He's got the first down to the 15. Jim Burt on the stop for the Redskins, who have been successful down the stretch with Biner doing the bulk of the offensive threat. First down on the 15. Biner's pass is intercepted. Griffin's pass intercepted by Darrell Pollard. And I didn't see a Redskin receiver anywhere near him. Gary Clark was, I think, the intended receiver, and either he was knocked out of that play or Rippon just did not get the read. Let's look at it on the top of your screen. That's Clark going to the outside, and no, he was held on that play, grabbed at the line of scrimmage. The receiver driving to the outside, Ricky Sanders. The, that's the play you did not want to see Rippon make if you're a Redskin fan. So he has thrown two interceptions in the end zone. And the 49ers take over. And that's got to take just about everything out of this Redskin team, I would think. Harry Sidney on first down. Picks up good yardage. Walton on the stop in a gain of seven. It's got to tear your heart out. If you're Mark Rippon. You get into the second half of this ball game, you got a chance to win, and you throw two to the wrong jersey in the end zone, heading down. Now you got to believe that Mark Rippon will come back, but in the short run, that has to be a hugely deflating play for Joe Gibbs for that offense and for that defense as well. Johnny Jackson, Darrell Pollard with two pickoffs with Redskins driving. Second down and two for Montana. Swing pass. Harry Sidney. They'll rule out a catch. And defending was A.J. Johnson. That's the kind of play. Ask Montana about the running game, and he's always said, we use the pass as a part of our running game. The short throws to our running backs out of the backfield are just as effective for us as good sweeps or good dives or good traps. 244 yards today. Matt Millen talking, talking with Bill McPherson upstairs. Third down and three. Montana pass, and it's an interception by Monty Coleman. And the Redskin linebacker with the first turnover of the game for the Washington Redskins brings it inside the 20-yard line. So let's see if that gives the Redskins a spark and a return of 16 yards. And on a day when it looked like Montana was not going to make any mistakes, he makes one in his own territory. Monty Coleman right there gets the hook. And again, we've seen a lot of jerseys grabbed on by today. Coleman getting a little caboose ride there. Pulled himself in, picked up the interception. So Mark Rippon has another chance. And he starts from the 19 of San Francisco. 10-28 to go in the fourth quarter. Gerald Rakes will lose yardage. Kevin Fagan was the first. Then Haley and Romanowski, and a loss of three yards. Fagan in your face, and he's been there all day long. Left side of your screen, here he is. Watch him drive right up on this play. Look how quickly he gets off Lachey. That's the thing that these defensive linemen for the 49ers have done so well, is disengage from those blocks and make the quick reaction and make the tackle. They hustle defensive players on the field on second and 13. Art Monk with the catch up the middle and drives inside the 15. Romanowski and Lott on the stop and a gain of eight yards that time. Where would the Redskins be today with that, without that man, Art Monk? Well, when you're in trouble, you go to your veteran, you go to your leadership. That's what Art Monk is. Well, even with him, they're down by 11. But they need to score a touchdown here. They do. This is four down territory, too. You, you can't afford three. There's just not enough time in this ball game and not enough opportunity. Third and five. Rippin's throw. Dangerous. Ronnie Passing Lott. intent. 
intended for Sanders, but there were two 49er defenders, including Ronnie Lott, and if that pass had been a little higher, that might have been intercepted. Might have been that, and Lott right there to get his hands on that football and grind it into the ground. You've got to believe that his presence in that secondary, as always, makes it difficult for those receivers coming inside. Fourth down now, and the Redskins have to go for the yardage. This may be the play of the game. Griffin's pass. Incomplete. Intended for Clark, and the Niners will take over on downs. Eric Davis defended Clark. Gary Clark, number 84. Eric Davis, number 25. It's man-to-man -man coverage. Clark saying he was interfered with. I don't see it yet. And Davis looking back to the football, and that is the key. They're not going to throw the flag on that one. If all dogs were overweight, the only dog food we'd make would be fitters. Have repelled every Washington threat. Three possessions inside the 20. The Niners have scored three touchdowns. Redskins have come up empty. That is the story of this game. First and 10 on the 14. Harry Sidney. Now the Niners are interested in using up as much of the time as possible. Last three Redskin drives have ended with errant passes in the end zone. Two interceptions and then the incompletion. Joe Gibbs said it yesterday, Dick. He said, you know, we're really not as good a football team as they are. If we're going to win, we have to got to play mistake-free football and we have to have some great performance in those individual matchups. Well, they have made their costly mistakes here in the second half. Second down and 11. <laughs> Harry Sidney brings it out to the 15-yard line. Well, the 49ers 8-12 away from winning, and they will play the winner of tomorrow's game, which starts at 12 noon Eastern with the NFL today. The other half of our NFC Divisional Playoff matchup this weekend, the Bears and the Giants. Talking to some of the 49er players, and their feeling was that this game was going to be tougher than either of those games in the matchup next week. I don't think that the Bears and the Giants who are sitting at home watching this one are going to feel good about that, but... Montana and company felt that this game was going to be a tougher match for them. Third down and eight. Montana's pass is caught by Wright. Sooner or later, somebody gets open, and Jerry Rice did there to the tune of 14 yards. Brad Edwards and Martin Mayhew on the tackle. It's a function of time. Let's go back to that head-to-head -head battle. And the... Look right there as Green slips on the turn and falls down. And Montana, who could have eaten his lunch back there on this play, is not going to miss a wide open Jerry Rice. Darrell Green coming in said, this is the biggest game of my career, going one-on-one -on -one against Jerry Rice, who has caught five passes, including a touchdown. First down at the 30. Roger Craig hit at the line of scrimmage. May get a yard. Tim Johnson. Tim Johnson has been a big contributor to the Redskins. Wired on trade from the Steelers and had a couple of sacks last week. Redskins thought today would be different from the second game of the season. They said they were better. 49ers were a bit tenuous, but it hasn't turned out that way. That extra week off seems to have given the Niners good new life. Well, they certainly are healthy and most importantly, we talked about it several times, getting people back like Ronnie Lott, getting Roger Craig back into the lineup. That was important, but the most important thing was the quality of 49er performance on the field. Execution, that's what they've gotten here today. Second down and nine. And Craig is hit behind the line by Darrell Grant. And a loss of three yards. The Redskins took a lead, and that might have awakened the 49ers early. 
They tied the score on the next drive after Washington took the lead. Low Miller's field goal gave the Skins their last lead of this game. And then it's been all 49ers. Montana to Rice for 10 yards. Montana to Mike Sherrard for eight yards. And that's our score, 21 to 10, with 5.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. There's a man who could have added to that scoring summary had he not thrown the ball to a couple of 49ers here late in the ball. Third down and 12. He had three chances and missed on all three. Montana's pass caught by Rice. Green trailing, and it's another first down for San Francisco. 14 yards on that play. Jerry Rice told me yesterday, he said, this is kind of like calling somebody out into the alley, and you're going to find out who the better man is. Well, it has been a real battle between those two today. But when Montana is on target with a perfect pass like that, and you use the skills of Rice the way he uses them, you're in trouble. Well, if you're going to give Montana time, he's going to find a way to beat you through the air, and the Redskins have given him time today. He's scrambling more today. He has scrambled a great deal more today than we have seen him during the latter part of the season. First down on the 42. Roger Craig with a couple of blockers. And he gets about a yard. That's all. Greg Minuski, first man to reach him. He says, watch for my timeout. So he's already worried about getting the clock stopped. Let's go back to Daryl Craig and Jerry Rice just for a minute. Daryl Green said to Jerry Rice, or said of Jerry Rice, he said, hey, let me tell you how great a receiver he is. He said if he's got the feet of a Steve Largent, the hands of a Charlie Joyner, and the speed of a Cliff Branch. Mm. <laughs> no. Pretty good package. Not a bad package. All in one body. And Rice is proving how tough he is. Second down and nine. Great. 49ers effectively using the clock. Redskins needing two touchdowns to take the lead in this game. And the Redskins use up a timeout. And we'll be back to Candlestick Park after this. To unlock your body's potential. We proudly offer Soloflex. 24 old-fashioned iron pumping exercises, each correct in form and balance, all on the simple machine that fits in the corner of your home. For a free brochure, call anytime. So how many cars does Mercedes test crash every year? Oh, I say about 100. You can never learn enough. Uh, ever since we had it patented, we have been improving this concept of the energy-absorbing car body. But other companies use the concept. Uh, we have never enforced the patent. So Mercedes gave away a basic safety advance for free? There are some things in life that are too important not to share. Light. It doesn't get any better than this. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football Conference Divisional Playoff Game is sponsored by the American Express Card. Membership has its privileges. Federal Express for documents, packages, and freight worldwide. Absolutely, positively the best in the business. And by Soloflex Muscle Machines, a new era in fitness. The Redskins have two timeouts left after calling one moments ago. Richie Pettibone trying to find the answer as the 49ers have held the ball for five and a half minutes. They face a third and seven on their own 46. Roger Craig gets a hole and gets to midfield, but he's short. 
Brad Edwards. And that will bring up fourth down. They're short of a first down by about a yard. And the Redskins immediately use a timeout with 3.31 to go. And now the Skins are left with one timeout. And they still need two touchdowns to pull this one out. Working to be the best they can be. Teammates, sponsored by the U.S. Army. In the 1982 NFC Divisional Playoffs, the Dallas Cowboys overcame their old playoff nemesis, the Green Bay Packers, for their record-setting 20th victory in postseason play. It was the Cowboys' ninth straight year in the playoffs and part of a streak that saw Dallas reach the postseason an amazing 17 times in 18 years. A run of consistent, outstanding play that made the Dallas Cowboys the best they can be. It isn't the night or even the fog that gets you. It's when the team leader puts you in charge for the first time. And you decide to drop right inside Alpha Team's backyard. That's when you find out how good you really are. Hey, the boots come a long way for one day. Is that a hitch? <laughs> it's not what I hear. What? At the airport. Someone swiped your wallet? Oh, right. What about your client dinner tonight? You know, you're sitting on the biggest order of the year. Is Mr. Moore here? I'm Chris Moore. I've got you a replacement card and cash from American Express. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yes. How did you do that? Only one card gives you the privileges of membership. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Monday. Everybody, get out. It's performance art. Elvin, a millionaire artist. Do you realize what this means? Yeah, it's going to take all the fun out of playing lotto. On Murphy Brown. 49ers special teams coach Lynn Stiles informing his club that a new man is back to receive this punt, Daryl Green, for the first time today. First opportunity, and he was quick to point down there, offer a few signals to his punting team. Barry Helton will kick. He's had a fine day today. Green coming over, lost his foot. Goes nowhere. So the 49ers cover it perfectly. Daryl Pollard. Put your special teams players, your starting players on special teams in the playoffs. And there's one right there. Starting corner, Daryl Pollard. Quickly downfield. Mike Wilson there to help. Romanowski added to the special teams list. Also in on that play. One of the reasons why Helton punted so well, they stopped practice, had him kick in the middle of practice with the teammates around. It might have done a, a lot of good for him this week. Mark Rippon on first down. And his pass is caught by Art Monk. And out of bounds at the 22-yard line by Ronnie Lott and a gain of seven yards. How did Rippon get this pass off? Larry Roberts all over him. Watch number 91 coming in right here. Bang. Ooh, that hurts all the way upstairs here. Well, you know that they've got to throw the football. It's tough to pass protect. Second down and three. Penalty marker down. Gary Clark has enough for the first down. Pending the penalty call, Don Griffin and Bill Romanowski that time on the stop with 3.06 remaining. Big penalty call right here. Skins had enough yards for the first down and the penalty may be against the 49ers. It would appear to be someone lined up off sides or moving before the snap defensively. Offsides, number 96 on the defense, five yards, first down. I like the way he said first down. First down, he stretched it out. Dennis Brown. Toughest time in the world if you're an offensive lineman. Those defensive linemen don't worry at all about their run. They're coming after your quarterback. Ryan Mitchell and Ernest Biner are in at running back. 
Rippin fires, and he's got Art Monk again. He's got another first down and goes out of bounds to stop the clock with just under three minutes to go. Another 14-yard gain. And an injured Redskin way back at the 15-yard line is center Jeff Bostic. Bostic, who has had a healthy year and has had a tremendous season, slow to get up on that last play. Been the anchor. In fact, he's had two healthy years back to back. Let's see what happens as he drives to the outside. That's Dennis Brown, and it's just head to head. And I think he's just got a giant headache back there as he took a shot right to the front of his head from Dennis Brown. The backup center for the Redskins is Raleigh McKenzie, who's been playing left guard. So if Basta can't continue, the Skins are going to have to make some shifts up front. Jeff. Uh, Russ Grimm would go in as Bostic comes out and just move Raleigh over. Going to have to do that for a play anyway, as they have stopped play for Bostic on this particular situation. Meanwhile, Art Monk has kept the Redskins at least within hope of this game with a brilliant game. Bostic is up. Monk has caught 10 passes for 161 yards including a touchdown and the one that put the Redskins in front early. And earlier today the Buffalo Bills advanced to the AFC championship game by beating the Miami Dolphins 44 to 34 in a prolific scoring game. Amazing to see that many points on that bad of field in those conditions. And good to see Kelly back in action. I thought he moved around very well in that game. There's a man who's moved around well today, Charles Haley. First and 10 on the Redskins, 42. Griffin goes the other way and overthrows Brian Mitchell. Mitchell was open for the moment. Little throwback screen trying to stretch this defense out. But this 49er defense, we talk so much about Montana, we talk about Rice, we talk about the great action of that offense this defense <laughs> they're the, they're the reason on a day like today that you can look at that scoreboard and see all those zeros Jeff Bostic is back in the game second down and ten Griffin has Mitchell out of the backfield and the versatile rookie who played quarterback in a game this year as a close to the first down Pierce Holt makes the stop and the hurry up offense for the Redskins. Brian Mitchell going wide. Got the first down now. Redskins with one timeout left. Don Griffin made the tackle on that play. Redskins need two touchdowns to pull out this game. Tough task against the 49ers. Rippin's throw. Tended for Clark and Davis, who broke up the pass in the end zone a little while ago defending. Tough situation. This 49er defense plays zone anyway, as a high percentage of their base defense. And when they can drop way back and say, okay, you want to throw it short, complete the short passes, you got them. But they're not even giving up those short ones. They're coming up and putting some hurt on people. Kevin Fagan, I think, has had a remarkable day. We've called his name so many times on the day. Yeah. Second down and ten. Griffin. And a good catch on a low pass by Brian Mitchell. And we're going to have a stoppage on the two-minute warning. So a five-yard gain to Mitchell. Two minutes in the fourth quarter. We'll be back. Park where the 49ers are two minutes away from advancing to the NFC championship game. They lead 21 to 10 and the Redskins with one timeout left have a third down and five on the 49ers 42 yard line. 49er cheerleaders song girls a little late getting out of the end zone and the official Red Cash and saying wait a minute <laughs> you got to move the people off the field down there. They grab their pom poms and split. Clock should read two minutes. Thank you. The Redskins have been shut out since the first quarter. 
Art Monk, who's had a fabulous day, put the skins in front with a touchdown catch. It was 10-7 Washington after the first quarter, and ever since then, it's been all 49ers. Griffin has his pass batted down by Dennis Brown. And that will bring up fourth down. Redskins will go for it. They've had three solid opportunities to score in the second half. But two interceptions by the 49ers in the end zone and then an incomplete pass in the end zone on fourth down. And perhaps their last gas of this season. Griffin on fourth down completes the pass to Gary Clark and that will be a first down to keep the hopes going for the Redskins. They have one timeout left. Johnny Jackson made that tackle. Griffin has Gary Clark on a crossing pattern. He lost some yardage. Gave ground, and Don Griffin puts him down. Trying to get out of bounds. That stop at clock and could not do it. Clock continues to run. He had too much real estate to go to get to the out-of-bounds area. Second down and 10. Griffin and Brian Mitchell can't hold on to that pass. That'll bring up third down. 49ers again dropping everyone deep, and they're saying you can throw those short passes. We're not going to give you the chance to get deep and get the quick score and then try the onside kick. 49ers defense, the key to their season. They won half their games by four points or less. Tina! Tina! Third down and ten. Ooh, a pass and a pick off. Michael Carter. Watch this. He's going to make it. 